Hello and welcome to Penn TV Science Report, January 2022 edition. Wow, there is a lot of learning going on this month. Pre-K are learning about identifying 1 to 10 and how to add numbers to get to 5. Kindergarten has been working on reading snap words and identifying letters and their sounds. First graders have been learning about glued sounds like all, ball, all, and addition. And the second graders have been learning about influential black people from Black History Month. Now let's check in with the data report. In January, we get to enjoy more daylight during the day. The sunrise is getting earlier and the sunset is getting later. When the sun goes down, you have two good things to see in the sky this month. On January 3rd and 4th, you could see the Quadrantids Meteor Shower. You could see the meteors in any part of the sky at night. Later in January, the moon will be completely full on January 17th. This may not be a great month for viewing objects in the sky, though. It looks like they will be cloudy or partly cloudy for most of the month. That is okay, though, because it is also getting cold outside and getting colder. We had a low temperature of negative 4 degrees already in January. Wow, that will freeze your nose right off. This month, the temperatures have been all over the place. We even set a record in Southwest Harbor for the highest January temperature of 48 degrees on January 5th. What a wacky month. Now for a science fact hood. Let's ta- talk about weird facts about the galaxy. Kepler 16b is a planet that orbits around two suns. Europa is a moon of Jupiter, has a huge ocean on its surface, but is covered by a 10 mile thick crust of ice. Neutron stars are smoother than glass because the gravity is so strong, a supernova is in exploding star it blasts all of the elements for making life across the galaxy that is all for now goodbye from the pen tv news team